you don't appreciate creative work. Like, there's nothing you can do about yeah. it. But the more you do it, the more they will appreciate, appreciate because it rubs off them. Creativity, it's contagious. Though. Like, even the colors people pick to wear. I realized I was doing my laundry the other day and I have too many black stuff. It's not going to change anytime soon. I feel like... You guys will be surprised how uh, see one man thousand here because he be gospel artist, something like Charlie, design junkies, if we get into music or something like that. But interesting enough, he's into other things, right? So today we have with us one man thousand, the fish. Thank you. Why you married Kinky? The little little one. I appreciate yeah. it. I appreciate it. What be our channel? Anaya, Anaya of Uriata. That's my full name. So the one man thousand. One man thousand. It, it, it was a nickname. The nickname. Akiri Brawi take me. Um, we, first of. Make agrofi flow pigeon English mix inside. Thank you very much. I have to translate for you. I feel you. I'm mixing inside. I like that. I like that. Okay, no. So one thousand is just an alias my brother gave me. Um, mm-hmm. we were on a road trip. We like we head to Cape Coast. We see it in the cell one thousand in Abudu. We are buy some. I no buy some. Give them. So he chook when he say my face like one thousand. At that time, all everybody in handle get like. N H N H A R like naha naha like then then that be like a peak as zone two time that once I could get drop you go kill me so that time we are oh well me have like I needed something different I don't want to be like everybody I was like bro this thing go work I type I'm nobody get them I think I'm we work so that's it but I think it's revealed itself in many ways I find myself doing more than one thing at once so one man doing a thousand things all at once and there we are. So, one man yeah. thousand. Anyways, anyways, yeah, welcome to the design jacket. Thank you, thank you. We'll talk about music and then Everything. the other things you do. Everything. I want Everything. you now make you touch on those yeah. things. Yeah. But before we get into that, we'll do stand up. Who, who did do stand up? Huh? You don't want to say what you're working on. It. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so we have a session called stand up. So basically, I mean, yeah, it's you know, design and tech. Yeah, oh, I've said it. Stuff, yeah. Ah, okay, so stand up. <laughs> you get up in the morning, you yeah. ask what you're working on and all that. So mm. for the last few months, aside from how many, Mm-hmm. What's, what's been cooking? Um, okay, so what's been going on? Wow. Uh, the things all they run through my brain. <laughs> um, okay, right now, most importantly, I have, since I'm on this podcast, I might as well go the work route. Mm-hmm. So we are revamping a lot of our offerings as Brainstorm Africa. That's the name of my creative agency. Mm-hmm. Um, so our consultancy, our community, um, that's how I know him through, through the community. So, we're, we're, we're revamping a lot of things, working on some web stuff. Um, so yeah, just standardizing a lot of things so we could go louder. Mm-hmm. That's, that's what it is. The aim was to grow my personal brand in such a way that people would see the work we're doing and go like, Oh, can you do something for me? So I become a funnel for my work. So that's what we're trying to do now. And it's picking. So I just want to follow that route. So focusing a lot on brainstorm. Aside work, any other things? Aside work, um, music, more music, more music. Um, aside more music, um, taking the stuff out there. So f- we have a trip to Kumasi mm-hmm. coming up soon. So depending on when this episode is out, I don't know if you guys have seen it or you haven't, but yeah, yeah we're going to, <laughs> we're going, we're going to Kumasi. That's, that would be like our first trip outside town. Um, as Oasis, as a collective. So, I'm excited for that. Yeah. Yeah. What's so, Oasis? Oh, so Oasis is my ministry, quote-unquote. So, it's a group of young people who love God, but we're pretty unconventional in how we go about things. So, it's not um, a strict, strict ministry that we do things this way, do things that way. We are firstly driven by the fact that we are youthful. Then the second thing is that we're driven by the love we have for God. So, okay. now when I idea be say, God is for everyone. And how best do we reach everyone? So through our content, through our fashion, through our style, through our music, through our evangelism. Like we just want to flip things a bit and just reach out to the right people. Because our generation is drawing far from God daily. Mm-hmm. So we want to see how we could be creative enough to bring everybody back. So we didn't say so that's what the Oasis Collective is about. Before we start, mm-hmm. I think you guys will stage, um, what's his name? Hold Out Music. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. How, how, I mean, that was a very massive. Charlie. Well, not Charlie, so, Charlie. Like, very exclusive, but then very, how was the preparation? Like? It was, it was humbling. It was humbling. Was that your first? First yeah. time hosting, um, an international act as myself. Yeah. I've, I've done it through other people, but I think it was very humbling to set up a product like Oasis, mm-hmm. like talking in a design team. you you set up a product like Oasis and it, it meets a certain international demand. Mm-hmm. Is a great way to feel, but I think most of the work came on the ground. 
how to give the people the right experience that matched the hype. And I think God being so good, it, it, it worked out right to the point where now we're asking ourselves what's next. And I think what's next would, would, would be pretty impressive. So fingers crossed. And hopefully when it's ready, we'll show you guys. Amazing. Yeah. I see. Um, is it you only? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We did. 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 On two one that mm-hmm. nothing mm-hmm. who's one one thousand because you do more things other than music. Yeah, um, one one thousand. So who's one one thousand? Self. Best thing I can tell you is that I be introverted guy. Uh, you probably won't believe me. So I, 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 I just they do things mm-hmm. basically. I just they do things. I'm a young boy who loves the Lord, who loves branding, who loves marketing, mm-hmm. um, who is very much excited about football. I'm an Aston fan. Um, <laughs> I'm also a food I blogger. I don't watch football, but I know that that's a very bad team. <laughs> <laughs> I don't get anything to talk, but I don't know the team you, did, you, you support. You see? I don't know. Yeah, so you see, I don't really, I don't really support Arsenal just because, oh, the team nice. I wanted to be groomed. You know, but right now, the things yeah, I don't think, yeah, the things I don't think go through. <laughs> Normal boys don't think go through. I don't, don't break your hands. Oh, I said my boys go fit tell you. We are a lover, not a fighter. Then they break my hands next week. Next week we they fall in love. I'm a great team. You know, that's not cool me. So yeah, I'm an Arsenal fan. Um, I love food, so I'm a food blogger on on on, on some occasions. I have a food blog. I stopped using it for a while, but I think I'll come back because people still they text me say, "Where can I get food yeah. to eat?" So I'll do that. Um, basically, Nana is it's for everybody. I did for you. That's the best thing. I you do see. a lot of things. Right? Yeah, they try. I, I write like four down already. I mean, <laughs> me as a designer, the content is another thing. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I, I forgot. I'm an influencer. I'm a content creator. I'm a graphic designer. Um, I'm a brand strategist, consultant. Um, I'm looking for money, basically. Yeah, so you try to get ready by something. Oh, I did. Ch- oh, father, more money, <laughs> more money, more money. Anyways. Anyways. You guys want to see anything? No, you get, I mean, you talk to the one man thousand, you see one man with you. Yeah, do yeah, it. Yeah, I mean, that was the idea I had the first yeah. time, having like the strength of thousand men, because that's what Ooh, you mean. Deep. Yeah. yeah. I tried that deep test. <laughs> and so, uh, yeah. anyways, how you balance everything? Because this is something huge. I do design and I'm trying to get into. Hopefully, if you start to pay, you then these people. I don't have them for the design. I have you. But I'm the name design junkies who are. Influencer for inside. That's all. But yeah, I'm doing two things at the same time. Uh-huh. Sometimes, you know, you be hectic and all that. This guy can't eat the ass. I'm going to go to do the design. <laughs> Open up to, you know, a lot of things. I mean, he's running most of the things we are doing and all that. Yeah. How do you balance, I mean, everything you do here? Yeah, I think, first of all, before that, these guys deserve a lot of credits because individually they are all doing stuff. I'll give an example. For Sam, I've followed his stuff for a while, but I've never followed him on socials. Mm-hmm. Like, I see him through a lot of people. My boys all know. Like, I think creatives and we are all interconnected. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. I think I heard of you through Boca. Yeah, Boca, yeah, Boca yeah. Jonas, like the, the few boys. Then I was seeing where actually, boys, they work. Oh. Mm-hmm. But around the time where I wanted to learn graphic design, mm-hmm. I'll tell you a story. I went to take, we went to get a client, brainstorm, mm-hmm. and our designers were, were, overloaded with work. Mm-hmm. So at that time, we've taken the clients, we've taken the money, mm-hmm. but we don't get designer I could do the work. Mm-hmm. I was like, me there's some Indian money for YouTube, they're really doing that thing. I was like, we <laughs> <laughs> so I had them, them, no. So I did do one, then my partner, Mike Lawson, yeah. Lawson did on the phone. So I do finish, then I said, Mike, it'd be okay. Mike said, oh no, 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 Charlie, go up small. <laughs> opacity, I don't know what the opacity. So then I Google them, then I find them, then I do, I'm like, we didn't, it took me, my first flyer took me about six hours to complete. No, like After yeah, that, yeah. I thought, so this, I don't learn Illustrator because I'm too comfortable with Photoshop. Mm-hmm. I can do too many things in Photoshop and I feel like, nah, for bro. So, I mean, starting out, I learned from people like you. Mm-hmm. I was watching your accounts, I was watching the stuff you were doing, and you both have been inspired. I saw Sapoma was on here in one yeah. episode, Charlie, another massive lady mm-hmm. who, is, who is really changing the game. So... Um, first, as I said, let's give them their flowers. Let's give them their flowers. Let's not wait till they're about to get married before you give them fans. Yeah. Oh, idea. Idea. Okay. So, you sweat. sweat. Right sweat now, I'm not I'm not right now, I'm not 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 I'm
Mm. Best man, yeah. Straight, straight, straight. Yeah. Anna, uh huh. But I'll be, curious, I'll be curious to see how you guys curate <laughs> stuff like that, like a wedding. Yeah. From designers point of view, like how you guys will be efficient? Because I can, I can bet my my last CD that there will be a VR or something. Yeah, and they'll be fighting over color. Yeah. Designers will be very interesting. <laughs> okay, so now to the main question: yeah. How how do we balance, or how do I balance all this? I would be lying if I tell you there's a formula. Mm-hmm. The mm-hmm. only thing that inspires me to keep things going is love. Okay. If you don't love what you do enough, you can't. Mm-hmm. So, for example, you can be so much in love with content creation that it determines your life forever. All these influencers were so much in love with content creation, mm-hmm. and that's what's evolved into making money now. Mm-hmm. Um, I, uh, two examples, Amabella and Gisela, they went on an episode of a certain show, and they were talking about how they're making money, money yeah. and all that. I can promise you, as I, I used to follow Amabella from way back, mm-hmm. and her Snapchat, you could tell that this person wants to do this. Mm-hmm. Like, she can even give you a normal day in her life, back when it wasn't a thing. Mm-hmm. You can tell that this person loves content. I'll give you, right now there's a revolution on social media with a lot of Instagram dancers. Mm-hmm. I love these guys, but all of them have grown into individual brands. You can tell from the way they dress, the way they pose. These people are churning out content daily. They love creating content. Mm-hmm. They want to be behind the camera. Mm-hmm. Sometimes it's difficult for us. And I realize that the only thing that will drive you to do that is love. Okay. Yeah, if you don't love it enough. So me, I love what I find my hands doing. When I was growing up, one scripture that used to anchor me is, whatever your hand find, do it, do it well as unto the Lord. And Charlie, that thing drove me forever. So even if you give me like six things, I want to try my best to do all six things right. Mm -hmm. So first thing is love. Second thing is knowing your personality. I can multitask. I will multitask. I can do it. If you can't, don't do it. But every, right now, the way the economy, they go. <laughs> Me, the showboy, before, sit down and discuss. Because right now, they press everybody in it. <laughs> Even if you be introvert, you for make noise. Right yeah. now, you don't get your, like, how you go eat? <laughs> <laughs> you see that in some of the things? Yeah. You did that now, you don't talk to introvert. Even though common goes. <laughs> <like, "Hey, laughs> you know what do. So, right now, unfortunately, your personality doesn't even affect what you do and to make you do it comfortably. Mm-hmm. Because right now, one person must be a designer, a videographer, an editor, and all that just because you have to make ends meet. And an ideal world, you should be able to do one thing and be okay. Yeah. But factor in your personality, that's the second thing. So one, love the thing you do. I factored in my personality and I knew that I can multitask. My mm-hmm. attention span is pretty wide for a lot of things. So when you love it, you realize that you could stay focused. Yeah. Another thing too is know when you perform best. I am poor during the day. My productivity is low. Like, I, I, can, I can just do one thing in the day. I don't know. It, you know the way from me. But Becky, <laughs> give me like from 10, as a, 10 to 4. I go feel build a house and feel like <laughs> just start do estates, continue. Like, ask me. So this morning, T7, you know, I wolf, I shut up, I wear my bag. Hey, I'm not going to wear my mommy. My mommy just ask me, say, it's the old boy. And then I'm not for you. I'm not going to die. Yeah. Hey, I finish that I go above the car in like two hours. Then I go also. So know yourself. Know when you are most productive. Um, another thing is your community. Who do you build yourself around? Because the people you are around will make meaning to what you do. So that's another thing that's helped me. For example, people knew my music would be great before I started making active music. If I didn't have good friends at that time, I wouldn't know. So that's why, because they are the ones who feed into what you do to make you know that, no, there's potential in here. So let me continue. If you have friends who know they tell you the truth, you go, was too sad in the huge roadblocks. I tell you for a fact that a lot of people who were making music and they are not blown is because they, they have bad friends. True. Some of them are parties they make music, you know they do. But we never do. Ah, 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 bass, bass. And most of them to be rappers. Hey, bass, bass. Hey, bass. You did lie. Oh, you did lie. By now, that guy isn't a rapper, but would do a good job as a producer. Mm-hmm. You get it? But we don't want to think for people. We feel like we go hurt people than our feelings. Yeah. So know your community. That should really, really help you much. And um, learn to schedule stuff. One thing that helps me is learning how to use my Google Calendar, learning how to use my Apple Calendar. It, it seems very meager, but it changes the game. Even if somebody texts you, when, when he texted me, I asked him, Charlie, if you send me some invites, quick, not be anything. When I wake up, I check my Bible, check my notices. Next thing I check my calendar, because today was so. Before I sleep, I check my calendar and see if there's anything. That's a habit everybody should do, so that you know that I have to do A, B, C, D, E at this time. Even on my calendar, I'm, I'm on some medication, and I, it's in there. Take your medicine at 8, take it at 2. Because the, the brain, they run. Mm-hmm. The brain, they run. I know if you think about ECG, the sounds who think about the things I've got to up. So, yeah. 
that's about it. And know that you have, and just know that everything will be fine. I think that's another side to know that everything will be fine. The struggle builds. Like so, as as you are struggling, you are also building. So know that there's an end goal. And usually, sometimes the things you love, you can easily monetize. And that's another conversation for. Yeah, that was actually my next question. Because I mean, I'll use my sister. So content creation for six months. Mm. I go feed like the money will come inside. Very what I say, but I love it. Yeah, I can easily give up. That's all. Have you been able to monetize everything I mean? No. I'm, so when you started, what was keeping you going? Love. Hey. And in Ghana, well, if you monetize the things, they fool you how much. <laughs> right now, first my car, then three fifty they fill up. Right now, they fill a double. I like six fifty to fill my car. Yeah. yeah. So no matter whatever you do, you wouldn't make it. No, because like, I think um, we spoke one time on Instagram where yeah. you took down all your posts. I were like, where you know, taking a break and all yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. What if you get into that zone where Charlie can't break the PI and all that? I've been there. You still bounce back because of that. Oh yeah, but I've been there too many times. Like mm-hmm. where I won't cast my socials. Mm-hmm. Oh, I've been there too many times. Like people think it's nice. Like you get up now. Hey, do you know how difficult we have to shout at ourselves to sit behind a camera? Like it'd be difficult too. But when you realize that there are a lot of people tied to what you do. For example, if you guys stop what you do as designers, as I, I say this, and people fight with me every time. But I think the creative industry is more important than the medical the medical field. Yeah, very powerful. And everybody can drag me on this, but this is what I'm saying. Even the science, even the science that we write, like even the doctor's door is a, is a form of design. On the drugs is designed. Even the medical stuff are designed in a way. So I always say that even God is a designer, even before a healer. Like, I mean, that's, that's, so I feel, and this is me, and please, you can drag me small. Pain. But that's how I feel because I was, I was trying to get creative before and I realized that our design is everywhere we go. So you pick it up from there and you go like, nah, people depend on what we do as designers. So if you guys decide to stop this pod, mm-hmm. there are like generations of designers and creatives that are cut off. Mainly yeah. because you guys gave up. Yeah, like you guys have made creativity look cool. Because designers don't come in front of cameras. Designers are always behind taking the money, going like that. Now. But you guys have said, okay, let's create a space. Can't sit down. Make we talk to you. Make we understand where you go. You mm-hmm. about. So don't get me wrong. Medical field. I love you guys. It's amazing on there. But that this is just the point where you realize that you are that important as a designer. Yeah. You need a medical person's. Um, I use those two um, fields interchangeably. But you 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 do so well at what you do to the point where you are needed in another field. And they are needed so much so that we we don't get up and go to the hospital. We are always sitting, but we are the ones who are always sick too. Because we're always behind the camera, we're always behind the lens, we're always behind the screen. So we need each other. But if you don't find your use, you don't matter to somebody else. You bop. So that's, that's the thing. Understanding why you do what you do would always drive you. I'll tell you I, look, all these artists, Kendrick, Drake, J. Cole, all of them go on a break. And one day they come back with a banger. You, you can say you'll stop, but won't you? I should go on a break. I mean, if you need to, you won't go on a break, yeah. if you need to, if you need to, so so that's one thing that drives. At, at least, even if you go off for a while, mm-hmm. you know that old oh, Charlie. What's going on with me? Another thing we battle with a lot is mental health issues. As creative people, mm-hmm. nobody talks about it because I mean, who you go tell? Mm-hmm. But we stress. We actually really stress. And if you think you need a break, you need a break. Don't don't let anybody stress you. But so that chasing the money a lot can also stress you out and break you down. So. Yeah. Yeah, me then at the campus. So we we know you for the music, the design part. I personally, that's why. Right. But then I want to know the beginning, mm-hmm. right? Uni mm-hmm. days, mm-hmm. the program you do, mm-hmm. how all of a sudden you decide, mm-hmm. okay, I don't want to do design. Okay. Design, okay, now I think I have something for music. Nice. I want to do that. I don't want to know how okay. I check what. Okay. Um, I think for me, everything has been parallel. So everything worked simultaneously. So I did geography in tech. Don't ask me why it rains. I don't know. <laughs> I know they Kai Jack, bro. I, but I, I did geography and I met some of the most amazing people through that. But I think tech for me was an avenue to meet people. I met so many brilliant and wonderful people from KNUSD. Mm-hmm. I went to KNUSD and, and that, that changed the game for me. So I did geography after I did my national service with um, Stanley Bank. So I worked in the bank. But before that, I did all my internships with the bank. Okay. So I've been very familiar with the financial space. Um, doing geography too. Um, I did general arts too in Infancipim. 
So it's been uh, wavy washy things it's here and there. But design came from the fact that I realized that I pay critical attention to certain things. And I like how things are done and things are arranged. And I could churn content out of almost anything just because of my personality. So it made me think, like, why don't we okay make it a thing? So Mike, at that time, he's, he was when we can't spend together, but we weren't close. I mean, on a vacation, I actually know this guy, they design. I want to learn from him. But I realized I could get clients because of my personality. I could attract people. But I hate sales. I love marketing, but I hate sales. It's another conversation. So I like Charlie, we could put things together and see. And that's how Brainstorm came about. Brainstorm came about right after SHS. So even before I went to uni, we were working. So we put that together. We were working. We were taking clients. We're doing, we've done a lot of pro bono work for a lot of startups just to help get things out, build our, our structure. And at the same time, I realized that I need to take music a bit serious because there are a lot of people tied to what I do musically. So it's, it's just assessing yourself as you go and as you grow and being serious on what matters. I think that's what I did. And right now, it's like, right now everybody did grow. So you don't have a choice and you don't have the luxury of time. You for actually make decisions and take steps quickly. I, I think I heard you guys talking about partnerships and what you for work on next. And that's what we've got into. Like, first, then we just want to create content. And I see you guys doing donut challenges and doing this and they're like, you, you, you want to be, you want to be that brand. Like you as a person wants to be a brand that's attractive to so many other people to boost what you're working on. So that's where we are evolving to. I think the word is evolving. Everybody's evolving as we go. You're not changing much personality wise, but you're just evolving to accommodate a lot of things you have to do. So that'd be where we did. Okay. Two steps back. We we're talking about introverts and all that. Right? Mm. When I spoke to Sheldon when I interviewed him, recently spoke to my staff mm. and other people, all of them seem like people who are introverts. Yeah. Right? And it's interesting, most creative people, I don't know, yeah. this guy that they said, so he did. Even though we designed and things, we don't know, come see that camera. Yeah. And, yeah. like, and I've had that question before, like, ah, you be introverts, but how you did? Can't sit behind camera and then, you know, just flow, do music yeah. and all that. Charlie, I don't know. Most of the creative people I know are introverted people. Yeah. I, I, I think it's, it's mainly because of the amount of thinking you have to do. Mm-hmm. I think it's because of the amount of thinking you have to do. Um, but, yeah, I'm very introverted. I, th- I went for an interview last week, and the presenter just kept staring at me before. We were briefing <laughs> before. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I was like, I, I didn't think. <laughs> let me say, let me say, let me say, let me say. Then she they expect say I go enter, they holler everybody, they jump, oh, yeah. energy. And I didn't think you were this quiet. Energy. Energy. Yeah, like energy. You know, I, I, I didn't think you were this quiet and polite. I'm like, yeah, I guess this be. And he said something before that the camera come on, I will go do them. Of exactly. course, if you don't want to get choice, yeah, that's, that's but that's 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 me in a nutshell. Like I'll be very I can be very quiet. I can but people like us, people when you're quiet now, then they interpret it as Something they wrong. But I don't think I see my body or something they wrong, bro. I just don't get anything to talk. My, you check my mumbo balance. My, my, make it no stress me. Bro. Make it no stress me. But but yeah, I think personality matters a lot. I know. Okay, no, true. I know some creatives who are also extroverted, and they I feel like have the upper hand because yeah. now naturally they are like that. So they are not like some of us that have to charge our batteries before we go out. Yeah, yeah that's it. So it plays a major role. And now for more. Anyway, now for more. Now for more. When I'm home and I'm recording alone. Mm-hmm. It's very easy. Once my team come around, I come and get this one. I don't like yeah. all of a sudden it's like there's some be- even right now. Yeah. Like, yeah. I just have to ignore everybody that I see before yeah. I can even just. So for me, my my thing works reverse. I can't do stuff with small groups. Mm-hmm. So oh. this is very difficult for me. Mm-hmm. You want it to be low, uh, like if it's big. <laughs> you made say, I mean, it's big. When it's big, I I I can yeah, just look energy, over everybody's yeah. head. Do what I'm doing, go my way. But if it's small groups for small people, presentations, all that, mm-hmm. I really struggle. Mm-hmm. Really struggle. But you'd have to put yourself in uncomfortable situations. I yeah. really believe that. Mm-hmm. Put yourself in uncomfortable, like stay uncomfortable to the point where you adapt. Look at all these animals in the in the wild. Mm-hmm. I I I bet you if they all got apartments, they'll be fine. <laughs> yeah, but they've all adjusted in wildlife. Yeah. Somebody they walk in mud, somebody they walk here, eat or be eaten, like those things. Yeah, yeah, but they yeah. are uncomfortable per our standards. If we we know if you live like elephants, mm-hmm. but those guys are cool, man. I understand they beat them, then they walk, then they cool. Yeah, but yeah. so we have to be uncomfortable for a while, adapt, then it becomes a reality for us, then we can teach people too. So I believe in that. Yeah, yeah man. Yeah, yeah I like that. I mean, 
Yeah, the introverted nature and you being quiet, people thinking something is wrong. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and they are adapting. Mm-hmm. Because that's, I always tell these people, say, me, um, I used to be timid. They, they never really believe me. Right, so <laughs> what, what you see today, yeah, that's it's just taking away. Right? Yeah. I really like top eighty, right? But yeah, it's something that has to adapt. Yeah, right? yeah. They know that business is business. You have that's to do what's necessary. Yeah. That's all. That's all. So yeah. Nobody cares about how you're feeling. <laughs> no, 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 nobody <laughs> that's, that's the thing. Nobody. People are like, nobody. nobody. Yeah, I nobody. think last two weeks, after we bought the Airbnb, yeah. we came home. From Monday to Friday, like, I, I think I sat behind my laptop like 20 hours. The rest I was on the couch. Okay. And you know, the, the 20 hours was because I had to do work. I can't go and tell them that I don't do the mood inside. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They are giving you the money. <laughs> <laughs> nobody, <laughs> nobody, like, nobody, nobody cares about how you are feeling. Nobody yeah. cares. I think a, a conversation, I saw a conversation on the TL and it was about women and mm-hmm. women going through their periods and having like yeah, character something. issues when yeah, they're... Yeah, is it the one Femi? Fem- yes, yes, so, uh, yeah. Uh, uh, so Femi. Pastor Femi, um, yeah, Apostle Femi Lazarus preached about yeah. it and was saying that it's not much of an excuse, mm-hmm. but you need to learn to put your emotions under submission and under control. Mm-hmm. While that is very true, I tell myself every time that if I die and resurrect, I won't be a woman because I know good fits. Charlie, every man I did them bloody come out. I don't know. Hey, and like every man to be, are you okay? Yes. Are you fine? Yes. We it's no. Okay. Yes. Fine. I don't know. I don't know. But for people like that, they don't. They don't. They really don't have a choice. So women have to train themselves to be okay, even when they are not. And it made me think, like, how many of us as guys? actually have to train ourselves to to be like to do more mm-hmm. even when we don't want to yeah like it, it, it made me think i like okay yeah women they go through armor but there's something to be learned here like even in board meetings somebody could feel they on a period heavy then she still she they present, present. Yeah. so like what about us because guys we they give up oh, yeah, yeah. we they give up while like me yeah. if things don't have you know they happy no yeah <laughs> I would try to sleep, mother. <laughs> I just find something to chop them also. Mm-hmm. And these people, like, are, so shout to every woman watching this pod, every female creative, we see uh-huh. you. But, like, it's it's a key thing. So even in, because a lot of creatives are also losing a lot of money on the table because we're not bold enough mm-hmm. to say what we need. Mm-hmm. I'll give an example. Um, what I'm trying to do as a person is to make the gospel space very attractive to investors. So starting out with programs, starting out with music, starting out with branding. So that's why you notice that even my branding is a bit unique. Um, we're trying to offer people something unique because you can, if you can invest in the secular space, you can invest in gospel. It's also an untapped market. But the unfortunate thing is that people haven't seen it that way. And we've been riding with God who provide for a long time that even the companies don't see your credibility, don't see how worthy or how, um, how, wealthy that space is so thinking about it you're like okay what can i do to make it make sense then that's where you as a creative have to step up and say okay you know what just give me 10 packs of water i'll show you what i can do content creation wise if you like it let's scale it up these are just things we have to do but creatives are not bold enough to say that okay this is what we want to try this is what we want to do so help us or we'll do this for you in return of this we're quiet we're calm we're cool but anytime you want to lose money or anytime you feel like you want to procrastinate, think about this. Women are going through things monthly, but are still adapting to make sure that targets are met. Mm-hmm. How much more you, you, you get to yeah. like, we have an example right before us. They are going through a lot, too, but they are, they are still making sure things are going right. Of course, yes, they'll, they'll complain. They'll do this, they'll do that, but it's our job to be there for them. Mm-hmm. So what can you do also in your space to say, okay, Charlie, job day, money is on the table. How can I adapt to go and take it up? Even if it means you have to fake your attitude and be like a bubbly person when you're not. Yeah. Mm, might as well. Yeah, that one did very good. Yeah. <laughs> so even speaking on Brainstorm Africa, right? You guys start for SHS, after SHS. Yeah. I don't know how the journey was, yeah. the struggles. Even thinking of balancing in itself, mm-hmm. because that time you need to go in. Yeah. Finding that balance, how you go about that? So in seven years, mm-hmm. we've only had four official in-person meetings, like as a company, only four. The company was started on Telegram. In seven years? Yeah. So you don't be like, we want to say yes, so we will talk seven. Uh, <laughs> we know the link. Like, if I didn't need Mike, 
we are a text away. We mm-hmm. built that culture. Like, whoa, what's up? Call me, text me, Charlie Zoom, make me set them up, make me do this. We realized that there was so much at stake that we don't have time to be doing Charlie. Okay, let's meet A, B, C, D, E <laughs> at this joint. By the time you go and reach that joint, then the clients will. Yeah. But it evolved from just something small to something bigger than us. So COVID was our, was when reality struck. We lost all our clients in COVID. Wow. All of a sudden, we had we had about six different high paying clients before COVID. That'd be crazy. Yeah, everybody. Like, every, COVID hits now. Them all. Hey, everybody wow. say you know they see the no, use. They see. Wow. Like pandemic hits. What am I using social media for? So everybody collects in nose mask flyers. <laughs> we cast them. Like yeah, yeah. Around that time, and it was bad because what we did chop. What we did do, and I remember. We know they feel even freak out. What you go freak out? Oh, what you <laughs> say before? No common house. <laughs> so COVID, COVID was a turning point for us where we lost everything. We literally lost everything. Mike, Mike chanced on some content. He signed up for a certain class, and he realized that no, it's a season of giving value back. Mm-hmm. So that's the only way we can also stay credible and stay relevant. Mm-hmm. Give back value. So we started a 100-day challenge. In 100 days, all we're doing is giving value and teaching the things we needed. But mind you, when we wanted to start, nobody was willing to teach us because both of us were not from a design background. There was only one guy, Kwesi Butri. Yeah, yeah, retro visuals. Kwesi took us through how to even do a price list, sent us his price list, gave us permission to copy his price list. And he's like, bro, you guys cook. And he even offered to give us clients. That's how deep Kwesi Butri went for us. And from there, we started reaching out to different people. We're like, ah, Charlie, Kwesi mentioned you people, your name. Oh, you be credible. You be good. You be that. And at that time, I was doing most of the marketing stuff and Mike was doing most of the operation stuff. So going out there and trying to get people was difficult. I don't lie. But I realized that people take you serious when you as a person, you are doing something. Yeah. And that's where personal branding too came in. So we realized that, okay, as Mike Lawson and Nanaya Ferrata, can you brand yourselves well enough so people say that, ah, where I thought you work? Oh, bring some Africa. That's my agency. And I pull out my card and I give it to you. So it's, 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 it was a steady evolution, but COVID changed the game. We gave our value. We built our personal brands. I was showing up more on social media, taking so- um, stories very serious. Um, we did our podcast. We are about 50 something episodes in. Then we took a long break and we've never recovered from that break. <laughs> but, um, we are coming back with the pod again. We've rebranded and all. So hopefully you guys should see a couple of episodes coming out. But it was just a steady evolution. I think it was born out of necessity. Mm-hmm. And and COVID, I, for all we've lost during COVID, at least I can say that COVID made us wake up. Mm-hmm. Right now where the job is, is trying to get high paying clients that will make you work. And I believe that there's, there's a lot of them there. Yeah, true. Where your skill would just merit you to do some work some months and earn some big money because to be fair we work too hard <laughs> we work too hard and i keep hearing the aim is not to work hard but to just work enough and that's what i'm, I'm looking after right now i so. need to sleep Charlie, like, i need that i need that like i was telling people i should be on an island somewhere yeah, like sure. boy, and then the company just the ah. work out oh what's up what's up yeah. <laughs> So that's it, that's it. it was just the <laughs> then we built a community, Inner Circle. Yeah. So Inner Circle was just because we realized that creatives have, like, we don't have a space to talk. We don't have a space to engage each other. Mm-hmm. So Inner Circle was born out of that. We have people, it's like a 50 plus community. Like I said, we have over 50 people in that community, different walks of life, parts of Africa, parts of the UK, US, North America. And all these people are contributing to the topic. Mm-hmm. So it's it's great to learn from other people. And I think that will be our legacy for quite a while. I'm giving value back and building a community. So, yeah. Is it an open community or a closed community? It is closed. Closed in the sense that we are looking for people who are actually very serious mm-hmm. about growth. Like, we, we complain every time that, oh, this is not there, this is not there, this is not there. Then you get it and it's like, oh, it's time to procrastinate. <laughs> where are we going? Where are we really not going? And I tell you, now, right now, our dilemma in, as managers of the community is that everybody, they do something. Mm-hmm. Is the community still needed? Mm-hmm. Right now, I've been the first set of people that joined. Everybody, they do something. Like, I, bro, I was so happy when you posted something on communities, you posted something on podcasts, you posted... I'm like, bro, you know, this guy that we didn't talk 
come out there like it, it used to be a fight to tell him to turn on his camera for Zoom, like our Zoom calls. That's crazy. But now everybody evolved. Oh, this guy. Shy. They 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 shy. Why somebody you they rap to sound so shy? Yeah, 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 yeah. So how, how are you thinking of doing music videos? That one gave me a day. Yeah, yeah, no, so so I think that's also a mark of growth because we've been played with that question for a long time. What's the next step for this community? Because now growth is there. So it's like we'd, we'd run it back, we'll open it up again, we'll have more people join and take it from scratch, help people grow, where people like him become resource persons now. Bebop, so that's that's what it's about. So when it's time, we'll, we'll just put you guys on, if you're mind, yeah. I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. we could put you guys in some of the classes, I come and teach someone. That's I'm interested in how, like, the structures you have in place around the community to make sure that everybody in there gains value, just like you're saying. So it's it's openness. That's the first thing, openness and transparency. So this COVID story we shared too many times. People are also allowed to reach out to us individually. What are you going to do? What do you need help with? Then we communicate. I think that's another way to track people's growth as you go. Mm-hmm. Because... The trajectories are different. People are starting afresh. People have done it already. People are looking for inspiration. So you find where everybody is and try and meet them there. Because in the community, we've had people who've been business owners for 20 plus years. We have people who just started. We have people who are now hitting the middle. We have people who are looking for crazy investors. So our job as our resource persons or as community managers is to find the information, learn it, and come and teach. Then the same way that people in the community are also supposed to do the same. And we help each other. Because when we were starting, nobody wanted to share. Now we have an overabundance of information. Mm-hmm. So now what is right to consume? That's what we're, we're trying to fix. So that's how we go. One more question in the community. So, so you mentioned, um, yeah, you're looking for people who are very interested in growth and everything. But obviously there will be certain instances where people in there are not as serious. So what measures do you have in place? In, like, how do you handle such situations? We check in. We mm-hmm. check in. Um, as, as, as people to you, you understand that you can always resolve to do something and it might not work out per what life is dealing with you on. So we check up. We make sure we check up and we check in a lot. Some you can't do anything about it because the same fire they started with is not the same they are continuing with. You have to learn to let some of those things go. Um, but the ones you can save, quickly do. The ones you can save, quickly do. Offer them extra help. I, I, I had a friend who had a shop. And it wasn't doing well at all. She gave up so many times. So for somebody like that, we realized that, look, we will be your consultants for free. Whatever you need help with, ask us. Ask us. till you want to give up properly. Then we know that, okay, now you've hit a dead end, so you're done. Mm-hmm. So think up options, but don't give up on people you love. Mm-hmm. That's, that's, that's one thing I, I, I think is important. Don't give up on people you love. Yeah. Don't, don't be like everybody. Don't give up on people you love. Why, why, why are you looking at that? <laughs> <laughs> you're the one with the girl now. Anyway, so I mean, the part on the people that like they have the passion, they want to go, but then I'm not joining the panel. So nothing is actually a serious thing. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It, happens. it happens. Like yeah. a lot of places, you think like you know, I mean, yeah. From from outside, it's like they see what is going on. They're like, yeah, yeah. I want to be part. I want to be part. Mm-hmm. They join and then commitment yeah. is not easy. Mm-hmm. Commitment is not easy. Tell the people who have girlfriends, they'll tell you commitment is not easy. Hello, sir. You have anything? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, yeah. I mean, what we were talking about community of friends and all mm-hmm. that and we're talking about the rappers who are not blowing and mm-hmm. their friends <laughs> and all that they're just dropping fire I think we're having the same conversation the day we met about designers right mm-hmm. a designer will drop a work and mm-hmm. you see that okay there's so many problems with this but then people come under the comment and just clean super boss to this is. and then you're the one person that comes in and then maybe you want to give constructive feedback like uh, I mean um, Derek was saying you know, the, the button is not good but then you see the other comment and you're like uh, bro fuck it because I mean then you just continue yeah here. Huh. So, something like that happened to you before. Did you have friends who were like, is this a, you're not doing well, but they're still pushing you in that sense, like, I'm more fake. I tell you, mm-hmm. plenty, plenty. Yeah, even yesterday, some guy be called me. Mm-hmm. He's my guy. Mm-hmm. Where he had some feedback on the content I've been dropping lately. Mm-hmm. So, he was very direct about it. Mm-hmm. Like, bro, the video... Nah, this, the, that, this, the, that. But somewhere you try. Right. He doesn't want to get your feet. No. Yeah. So after we ask him, say, would he like to know how we created mm-hmm. the video? Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, Charlie, tell me, tell me. We well, are finished, tell him everything. He said, uh, oh, they make sense. Oh. Mm-hmm. Sometimes we need a backstory. Yeah. Sometimes we need a backstory. So, um, first thing, I've had a lot of friends who are found fooling me. 
Fullest. Yeah, yeah, oh, far fullest. Chow. Chow. That's even as many times they did. Even identify far fullest. Because if you start out, you can don't have the expertise to know that. Me, me, so what I've been doing, but you do it day because you see people will be before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, Better than probably that way you will get that realization. So yeah, then so these we, people uh, might be the one to get first. They will tell. They see this, but they will tell. No, I, I mean it's not always the case. For me, like this, right? If I put content out there and let's say another comes to drop a heart emoji, yeah. cool. But then let's say a video guy, maybe Kwasibuchi or somebody sees the video and they come and comment. Or again, maybe this you could have done this. This I will listen to him more because now he is in the field. Than my mother, or maybe that friend that is doing medical science or something like that. So maybe that person that is dropping, oh cool, this is not like maybe they want to found fool you. That's what me I think, but just that to them that is okay. I don't know if you get where I'm coming from. I get what you're saying, but there are two things that we're all Christian, right? Yeah. Everybody here is a Christian. Yeah, yeah, no, no, oh, you're not Christian. What is he? Yeah, most of you can leave that. Oh, no, 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 cool, cool, cool. Sorry, I was, I was about to say something that like okay, no, but I'm still fluent. It's still general. Two, yeah, two things. Fine. Oh, you know the problem about that? You know the problem. You know the problem. Correct guy, I like that. Um, Because I've been somewhere where they actually cut the episode because they're like, well, I'm talking too much about my religion. I don't know. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, thanks. I don't want to be disrespectful. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so two things that I feel every person needs and every person has is mm-hmm. discernment and conviction. Okay. Why are you doing what you're doing and mm-hmm. what told you what to do? Mm-hmm. You need to have hope. Mm-hmm. You get me? Now, with conviction, you are doing something for a reason. You did that video that way for a reason. reason. Mm-hmm. The only reason why you should change it is if you get a suggestion better than the reason mm-hmm. that you set out to do. Mm-hmm. That is how I feel. Mm-hmm. For music, for example, it is very, very dynamic and fluid. Mm-hmm. I can make a song today and hear a beat tomorrow and I feel like this whole, the whole song should change, which makes no sense. But that's creativity. You can do a flyer now mm-hmm. and you see something on Pinterest and go like, hey, for delete this thing. thing. <laughs> I for really my, my delete that. <laughs> but think about it. Uh, if every single week you won't correct something based on something better you've seen, you never go do anything. You never go grow. Yeah. And that's what's happening right now. When our people, everybody get feedback. And that's the African community we are in. Everybody has feedback. So we have a podcast episode called Feedback is Overrated. Everybody has feedback. Mm-hmm. Now, being like discerning enough to pick what makes sense and what doesn't is the skill yeah, everybody right, needs to groom. You, that, that, that's where the issue is. Mm-hmm. So, for example, within my circle, me, my kiddie bro, safe. I get two kiddie bros. Papa always be the last one. Go if he text me, tell me, say, your song is not nice. <laughs> and my next question to one be, why? Yeah. You, you get the picture. You can't also tell me, say, the song they be and not tell me why. <laughs> You, you know about my angle. So before I drop every song, I have a list of about 10 to 15 people I send it out to. Bro. Oh, they the track debut, oh, but. They track debut, oh, but. And I like that. Yeah. Because you've told me something you like, you told me something you don't. Then I pick what I can work on and what I can do. So I'm evolving every day because I'm missing something. There's something my dad says. Human beings are like mirrors. You can see me, but I can't see my face. But you can see my face and I can see yours. So it's easy to tell you that there's a speck on your eye. And it's easy for you to tell me that there's a speck on my eye. Mm-hmm. But I don't know where you've been to go and get that speck on your eye. Well, I know you come on some bush beans, right? but I don't know the backstory. Mm-hmm. So that's why we need to learn to ask why. So when you have your conviction, when you have discernment, learn to ask why. So in building your community, mm-hmm. certain people are in there and they genuinely don't appreciate creative work. Like there's nothing you can do about yeah. it. But the more you do it, the more they will appreciate because it rubs off them. Creativity, it's contagious. Though. Like, even the colors people pick to wear. I realized I was doing my laundry the other day and I have too many black stuff. It's not going to change anytime soon. I feel more comfortable in black yeah. than any other color. And people complain, oh, the weather hot too. But I know they feel I'm like, I don't my black, they go my way. Your body adapts to the kind of image that you're trying to paint for yourself. So do it. Be convicted. Because the person that you are taking the feedback from and you are trusting, also went through that phase where people were punching holes in their work, but right now they can say that I'll do Sheldon. Yeah. Good example. I didn't like Sheldon after a period. 
Because his content at that time, I felt like, nah, it wasn't too good for me. Mm. This guy, I don't know where he went to sleep or where he woke up. One day, evolved. Yeah. Bam! Like, and it's been growth. It's been progress. I don't know that this guy doesn't have days where he just day rooms say, Charlie, then they diss me. You go do hard guy for the TL top. But your yeah. real niggas know say, Charlie, that thing. Yeah, then, yeah. it be like they drag me like almost every month right now because of what I do. Yeah. Of course, that's why I go text my boy and say, Charlie, this thing there, go me. You <laughs> know me, I for stop. I know the drag is somebody's here. Now, <laughs> gospel has this whole thing, so that will take you to the place of prayer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Your man can go and say, you put like the sad songs on the side. Charlie, they drag me, so I make my puppy say, go, yes, it's Charlie. Some of the things that they tweet and they check out. Yeah. It's those things. Yeah, so, yeah, people yeah. always have feedback. You yeah. get it. But what's your conviction? Why are you doing what you're doing? I love your hair. Oh. Uh-huh. I know if you do. Is it? Oh. Uh-huh. Yeah, I know if you do some. Is Many it? things. That's all. That's all. I love your hair, bro. But I know if you do some, but you're convicted for doing it because yeah, yeah, yeah. I heard him talking about how where he used to work, they told him that he has to cut it off, so he had to, uh, like, if I'm right. But you're still convicted that this is the hairstyle you want yeah. to do. Wherever you go and they ask you a question, why did you do it? You should have an answer. Mm-hmm. Like an elevator pitch. Shark Tank is a show everybody needs to watch. Mm-hmm. Every creative person, watch Shark Tank. Business wise, well, it just they be like the way you like the Kardashians, you should like that show. <laughs> and in yeah. 10 seconds, 15. <laughs> 10 seconds, 15 seconds, you should know the first sentence you are going to say because there's money to be made. Yeah. Why do you do what you do? I do it because A, B, C, D, E. Even if you have it correct, there people will still punch holes in it. Yeah. So then your product sells for you. It's like, wow, it works. We want 50% stake in your company. Then you go from there. What's your elevator pitch? As a human being, mm-hmm. every idea I have, my question is, what's my elevator pitch? Because growing up, if I brought something that my parents didn't buy for me, I have to defend. If not, I'll have to hide it. Yeah. Now we go past points where now we defeat buy one of phones one of The first time I come house where I hold this phone, old boy say, my phone you could now I have to answer. I do A B C D E where I get my money, where I buy it. Aye. See how they me too. Then we go. When your why makes sense, everybody will follow. Yeah. When your why makes sense, everybody. But we can't keep doing things that we don't have answers. Hey, I think yeah. this is true. One of the guys I interviewed on a script, the Dixon, he said something like that. I was asking him about photography and videography and like some of the rules and all that. I was like, you can break rules and do anything you want. Once it makes sense, everybody's going to like it. But once you break the rule and it doesn't make sense, then now it becomes like... Accept defeats. Yeah. Learn to accept you and go yeah. back. Look, right now we're still in an age where f- there are certain photographers that are raising people's knees mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. still editing mm-hmm. pictures and removing people's pimples and things. <laughs> It works somewhere. somewhere. There's a whole market for that too. Where if you do the picture today, the bride will tell you, say, color in face pretty makes pretty. you make fair. <laughs> then there's another group of creatives that, Charlie, I like the raw. The, sure. it's, it looks nice. Oh, that, there's something for everyone. So you find your voice yeah. and your voice will take you places. That's what's up. I mean, I mean, when the upper before the production you. manager will come Jimmy Slav Me, I had to bring my own show. Okay, I think they mentioned it before. Is it Regan's Corner? The love. Uh-huh. Okay. Yes. It's not part of the show, but that's bring it when you want to bring Takashi, it. Takashi, that's all. Please mm-hmm. have a girlfriend. Do I have a girlfriend? Yeah. Look, by next week, are they married? <laughs> Tabi water. Right now, I just search coins. And if you will send me more today, I know who are they married. <laughs> oh, I meant. Right, how much do you need? We will, we will go. No. We will, everybody will contribute. We'll contribute. contribute. <laughs> Believe it or not, I have a Pinterest board. I mean, of how I want my wedding to know. I know. I thought I thought the oldest girls who did that. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah, bro. By the time girls are eighty, they know their their colors. They know where they want to do their I wedding. Do that, do that. Yeah. No, no, because I, I realized that another headache more boys they face be because when you're about to get married, all my boys when they marry could tell you this thing: you act so oblivious to marriage. All you they won't be your wife, your wife, your wife. Mm-hmm. Till in mommy go come tell you say this is how we do things here. Then your own mommy go tell you, say, this is how we do things. Yeah. Yeah. Then your family go tell you, let's do this. Then your family, he said, hey, this one all day more. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I just want yeah, to do your wedding. I just want to marry them more to this old. It's a whole thing. It's a whole thing. So yeah. me, I start thinking about time early. As he say, all oh, my boys start marry. You make us have the ask boys questions. Like, ah, Charlie, mm. so this one, they're knocking. How you do them? Um? You just go knock or they talk to you. So you say your ID somewhere. You just search them on. Massa, if... Is money today, today? Other streets they do what? Not in the street though. Make a tell you, I've roamed. Not in. She need quite a lot. Oh boy. How many times? That's now quite the fifteen. There are much more than girls. Like so, but me, my own. If money comes today, I know who are the money. That's all. But the girls they worry. Looking, if you find money, they do music. If you popular, you get the money. Oh, worried? Yeah, I don't think the word is worry. 
Then they try, man. Then they try. Mm, like, oh, we love your music. Oh, same. <laughs> yes. There we go. No, but I mean, I'm, I'm learning to, yeah. quote unquote, not lead people on yeah. in that context. Because, Charlie, the way the game they go, people are misinterpreting a lot mm-hmm. of actions yeah. daily. And if you're very friendly like I am, it will be very easy to feel like, oh, we are like that. Yeah, I was told not to send more than five Latin emojis to females because it means we didn't want. The person that said it is sitting behind the camera. I'm like, 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 she like in my day for me chair but no fit so i just tell him say oh if i have to get married today i know who i'm marrying mm-hmm. which is oh i really respect that thank you Aww. so it's it's both ways people okay. are being very understanding now but being very bold so we need to please learn. you already have some i don't disturb you i've got to get the information <laughs> <laughs> the next corner all right i mean one last thing mm-hmm. go out there somebody who won't do music when you friends are from fulham yeah someone wants to get to branding marketing mm-hmm. We, we, okay, we've already spoken about um, brainstorm Africa, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Advice to them, like no, look, no. nothing, nothing stops you from trying a lot of things. Mm-hmm. Be, I'm sitting here. I've sold Banco and Tilapia before. I've sold Pure Water before. I've sold sanitizer before. I've sold healthcare materials before. I've sold fashion stuff before. I've sold car parts before. Um. I have a list of stuff I've done entrepreneurially. I've sold food before. I've sold women's purses. I've sold women's jewelry before. Aside the branding and stuff. Try. Mm -hmm. That's all I can... And none of the businesses succeeded to date, except Brainstorm. (laughs) Yeah, and that doesn't mean I won't go again. If you're a person, I could be a more boy because the economy, they kill me. But try. If you're in music, you know, if you listen to your songs, are you happy? (laughs) First question. (laughs) First question. No, that, that's the thing about music. Like, my like yeah, my if, my if you are happy, yeah, right? Yeah. And no, and if you're happy, there's nothing I can do for you, and that's the truth. Okay. But if you listen to your music and you feel like you can do better, that's where you need to reach out to the right people. Yeah. Because some of, there are people who are over motivated that there's nothing you can say to them to make them stop so. until they, they they hit a roadblock and like, they go oh like Charlie for thing. You don't advise, hey, woman, woman said be okay, but no. boy, wait yeah, for. Yeah. Oh boy, you go fix everything there in the room. Then you just go apologize. My boy be like that. Too. So no, he sell a phone. He save us there. They come. And I will call him. You know they get up. He take the money go do dinner. Uh, yeah, so, yeah, kind of uh, I'm, 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 I'm okay <laughs> No, so yeah, so please try a lot of things and read around your space. So music, music is not just about rapping and singing. There's music production, there's beat making, there's, 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 there's a lot, even like A&Rs, there's distribution, there's so much in and around the music space that you can learn. For all you know, you know how to make music, you like making music. He, we have a good example here. I don't know why he's not continued making music, but he realized that, look, there are more important things to life than that. Build your hobby, build your hobby. For all you know, maybe your own self be arts. Your own self be connecting people in different places. So try your best. Discover more about yourself. Don't dwell on just one hobby and close it. I know an artist. She was doing so well that she decided to start making like art boxes for people. Mm-hmm. Right now, people they go picnic, then they buy an art box. And her art is making money for herself. She's not made a Picasso yet, mm-hmm. but she's making mini Picassos. Yeah. You get it. So learn, learn around yourself. And um, I think this 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 last thing, I just promised myself wherever I go, I'd love to share about my, my faith. So if that's okay with you guys, I, you know, my, okay, good. So Charlie, um, God is for everyone. Okay. I don't know where you're from. I don't know the background you're going through. I don't know what it is that you, you see on a daily basis, but God is for everyone. Don't let anybody gate keep God from you. But then I also pray that you meet Christians or you meet religious people, um, within the Christian space who know God well enough to tell you that everything will be fine and actually mean it. Yeah? People are going through a lot. The trauma that people are, are experiencing is great. And because of that, they push religion aside. That's fine. But I pray that even us in the religion and in the space would learn how to be more compassionate towards people. So if you're watching this, and Charlie, you're going through a lot. Look, I promise you everything will be fine. I don't know when, because me, everybody go through. But I just know everything will be fine. And it's very nice knowing that I have an anchor 
to put my faith in and to put my struggles in, and that's Jesus Christ. So if you don't know Jesus and you'd like to know him, please just close your eyes and just say, God, please, I'm here, I'm yours. I'm tired of the normal, normal, and I want to be with you. That's all. And you'll be fine, okay? All right, guys. One month thousand. Almost on uh, the design. I can't be baby. I can't music. I can't relationship. I can't be. Business. Yeah, 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 yeah. Thanks for watching, please. First three likes of our one year. Let's take Which one's my camera? This, this one. one. Your if there is nothing you cannot do, my, my God, God, I am yet to know. know. You they do, I'm simple. Ah, yeah, the Lord, you are mighty in battle. Before you, my issue is little. Nobody they like you. Oh, be a right to say, oh, eh, oh, how many? Oh, yeah, that me, oh, how many? You spoil there for me. Okay. That's all. Okay, okay. You think I have to dance? Never.